Tyler Peters and Zane Wilson, two seniors on the Shawnee baseball team, were home last week, hoping their friends and family were safe as a tornado wreaked havoc on their town. So a lot of damage to Shawnee High School, to, to the, uh, the ball fields. But it wasn't long before they knew just how much damage had been done to their school and baseball field. Uh, that night we have a baseball group chat and somebody drove by the field and videoed it. Mm -hmm. They videoed the front and then the fence and we saw how messed up it was and we knew that we weren't going to have the rest of our season here. And sadly, they were right. Shawnee won't play at home for the remainder of the season, including next week's senior night. They also won't host any games this postseason for the first time in over three decades. That said, for these seniors, this isn't the first time something has drastically changed their season. It's been a roller coaster with COVID year, not knowing what was going to happen with our baseball season, to not having our baseball season, starting off our high school career, and then finishing our high school career, not having a field to play on. Adding to the damage, a two-story press box that has long overlooked the football field at Jim Thorpe Stadium now gone. So when it, it came off, was it just here in the middle of the parking lot? It was just, yeah, it just basically fell right. It just basically fell right behind right there. It was just, it was just laying in a big, in a big pile. It was just a big wooden press box, which, uh, like I said, when, when you see it, when you, when you saw it for the first time, it was just, you know, as a Sean, as a Shawnee guy, it was really just kind of heartbreaking. But still standing attached to the Stucker wrestling complex was one symbol of safety and hope for the future if this ever happens again. But that is our safe room that actually stood stood up. So that, that part of it was actually perfectly intact, which is exactly what you want. And so if we would have been on campus, all of our all of our students could have fit in there and we would all have been safe, which that was great to know when we saw that. I know we, we all felt really good about that. And for a baseball team that still has its eyes on a state title. You know, our goal's not changed and, and you know we can handle adversity any way we can. It's a little bigger than what we're used to, but you know we can we can bounce back and just refocus and get going again. Elgin Rucker, KOCO 5 Sports.